Expert anglers usually know exactly what they want for fishing tackle, but the novice may need a few pointers. In this week's fishing tips, Ray Gildow of the Nisswa Guides League and Mandy Yurick, the bassing biologist, explore different kinds of reels. Today we're going to talk about spinning reels, bait casters, spin casters, the basic kind of rods or the basic kind of reels rather that are available for people and we're going to kind of talk to the beginner today. How does one decide what kind of a reel to buy and what kind of a rod to put it on? And I would suggest if you're just coming up for a weekend or for a couple weeks vacation, you don't have to spend a ton of money to get the right kind of equipment. If you get like Mandy and I do, or we're starting to do a lot of this stuff more on a professional level, then you can get into the higher end stuff and you can spend what you want to on rods, you can spend what you want to on reels. But you don't have to do that. In fact, one of my oldest customers who's 88 years old still fishes with an iron rod, black line, and an old bait casting reel, and he's phenomenal at catching fish. So you really don't have to spend a lot of money. So a spin caster, we don't have one of those with us today, but if you think of the, uh, uh, like a Zebco reel or a, a Shakespeare reel, uh, those are spin casts. They come with a line already on them and it's closed so that nothing really can get tangled. That's the very basic setup that you would need. If you want to go with a spinning reel, that would look like this. And this is uh, with a reversible handle on it, so you can put a handle on either side and you can cast if you're left-handed or right-handed, and you can spend as much as $25, you can spend as much as eight, $900 on these if you want to. But starting out, you don't have to spend that kind of money. Mandy has a bait caster. Mandy, maybe you want to talk a little bit about that. The bait casters, unlike the spinning reels, are not adjustable for the handles. So if you reel left-handed or reel right-handed, you need to buy them and purchase them with the appropriate hand. Also, when you look at the side of them, down on the below, you'll see different numbers. You'll see a 7.0 or a 5.0 or a 6.0. And that's actually talking about the gear ratio. And it refers to every time you turn that reel one time, it refers to how many times that inner spool is going. So the higher the number it is, the faster the reel is going based on one revolution of that reel. There again, prices range from $30 all the way up to 600. Just remember, the reel doesn't catch the fish. I'm Ray Gilda with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Andy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.